guys, my name is Otaka Skittles, and welcome back to Let's Play Mermaid Swamp. Um, I do apologize that it's been almost a week since I last played this game, but I just wanted to finish Paranoic and Madfather before continuing this game, and also, um, the other reason why I haven't played this game in a while is because, A, my headset got broken, I just got a new one, as you can clearly hear, and B, um, my laptop is broken, it's doing the deadly seven beeps of terror, which... It's often associated with the motherboard being broken for some random reason. It was working fine last night, and I tried to turn it on this morning, and it... Well, actually, it was doing this yesterday, after I got home, so... Anyway, I'm borrowing my dad's laptop. He graciously donated this to me for the time being. Um, I'm staying in Louisiana for two weeks, two more weeks. I'm flying back to Missouri on the 7th, and I, I know I'm getting distracted from the game. Oh, just one last thing before I start, um, before I leave the room, um, I just want to recognize some people, uh, some of my fans that have inboxed me for a little while. Um, there's one, Hey J Games. Um, she added me as a contact, and I sent her a little um, letter saying thank you for adding me as a contact. I added you as a contact. Um, either you're a fan, or this is just some freak accident done by one of your friends, does a practical prank. Anywho... Um, I told her I'd be giving her a shout out in one of my videos, and now I'm doing it. I checked out her channel, and she does pretty well for herself, considering she started at the beginning of this month. She's already got over close to 700 subscribers already. I'm starting to get a little jealous. Um, another fan is Machinice. Machinice. I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it's spelled M A C H E N I E S S. Um, she said my videos were good. She was just disappointed that they were not having as many views as she would imagine. So, another fan is Seeker3218, and he's been with me pretty much since the beginning of my channel, and I am very grateful for him um, giving me suggestions on what to record, and he's giving me support on my um, voice acting. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or questions or comments on my uh, voice acting or gaming in general, please just talk to me. I'm I'm always open to talk to people, and I'm a very nice person. Um, yeah, you can label me as Otaku Skittles, or just Skittles, or my real name is Jenna, if you want to call me that. I'm also known by Jinx, because I'm a natural Jinx, mostly at Walmart. Anyway, let's continue with this game. I have wasted, like, ultimately a minute or two of your time. I need to waste the other 16 or so minutes doing this game. Okay. Uh, let's check on Saitaro. Not here. I want to sleep on his bed. No, I can't sleep on his bed. Okay. A large swan can be seen inside of the house. Okay. Um, can we go upstairs now? Maybe I shouldn't walk around too much. Don't want Gramps to find me and get mad. Okay. How about Yuka? Oh, are you still in bed? Hey, Yuka, it's morning. Wake up. Sorry, Rin. I'm feeling kind of cold. Can I rest a little longer? All right. You gonna be okay? Don't push yourself. Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe I caught cold because of all that fog. Poor girl. I hope she doesn't die. I hope she's not one of the characters, or this is the type of game that one of the characters dies. I really hope she doesn't die. <laughs> Because she's the only other girl in this game, and I really want her to stay with me. Because I don't want to be alone with two guys. Although, I feel like that's what's going to wind up happening. Yuta and Sitaro are gone. Are they in here? What are you? You're gross. You're gross looking. Ugh. You look like an elvish monkey with a body of a fish. Or a shrimp. I don't know. <laughs> Blech. That's my thoughts exactly. Um, kitchen! Kitchen? Where is everybody? Where, where is everyone? Are, are they in the bathroom? Blech. Okay. Um, where did everybody go? Oh, there they are! There's Sitaro and Yuta. Dang, you guys are up early. What's the deal? Early? It's already ten. But anyway, I checked on the car, and it's still not looking any better. Couldn't be out of gas. 
It's so old, I wouldn't rule it out just falling apart. But whatever it is, how are we going to leave? Oh, what's happening here? Hello, old man. I still love your hat. So, yeah, old man. Sorry, but can we stay a while longer? That's unfortunate. As a matter of fact, I have to go to a nearby village to attend a memorial service for a few days. That right. Well, we'll be out soon, then. We wouldn't want to stay too long. Even without a car, we should find our way walking. No, I wouldn't suggest walking. We could just leave the car and take the train home. No, it, it's quite all right for you to stay. I'm the only one who lives here, after all, and I would quite appreciate someone looking after it. Huh? Really? Indeed. And you wouldn't get far walking in the mountains, certainly not in this fog. You're more than welcome to stay until your car is fixed. Just please don't do anything dangerous like walking around the mountains. Okay, you, you made that perfectly clear. Don't walk around the mountains. All right, thanks, Gramps. Aw, you're going to leave? Oh, can I protect your hat? Ugh. Well, I've got to be heading out. Keep an eye on any fires. Why? And again, don't go walking in the mountains. Yeah, yeah. Why does he not want me to walk around the mountains? Either he's hiding something, or he's really protective of strangers. Well, I would assume an old man would be protective of strangers, because otherwise, who would they have to talk to? <laughs> um, okay. We'll hold down the fort, don't you worry. Don't go down yourself, you hear? <laughs> I'll be careful. So long. G give me your hat! No! 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 Uh, how did it mute? I, uh, why does it keep muting itself? This computer, I swear. No wonder I didn't hear the door close. Back to the story. Hey, it's evening already. Better get in the bath first. I hate going in after the guys. Yeah, oh. Oh, I thought this would be like in Paranoid where she, the screen would just fade as soon as she decides to take a bath. Okay, there we go. Hey, backside nudity. I didn't realize it'd be nudity period in this game. <laughs> Back to the story. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Couldn't really manage to relax yesterday. And having a huge bath like this is sweet. I would imagine so. I wonder if Yuka's gonna bathe. Sucks that she's not feeling well. Kind of a waste of a trip, you think? I'm getting sleepy. Don't, don't you fall asleep! Don't you fall asleep in the bathtub! That's dangerous! Hmm? God! Dang, that's loud! Ow! Right in my ear. Huh? What happened to the water? Ah, yeah, yeah. Side nudity. Ah! What the hell is this? Uh, you're you're a naked pixelated woman. Sorry, guys. My bad. I guess that's what the warning in the beginning was for. I didn't realize there'd be this much pixelated nudity in this game. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. The, the water's all gross. It wasn't this color when I got in. N not my fault, right? I'm not that dirty. I assume not. Whoa, hey, dude. The naked girl in the bath bathroom. Why? Why'd you come in? The rational thing to do would be to knock on the door and say, "Why are you yelling? Is everything okay?" No, you just barge right in, you little pervert. Go, oh, say, Taro. What are we gonna do with you? Back to the story. Hey, what's the matter? Dots. Yep, pretty awkward looking dots. Dots, dot, 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 dot. What? Dot, dot, dot. The hell are you barging in on me for? Yeah, Seitaro, don't you have any manners? For real, though, this is so muddy. Just how gross are you? Oh, Seitaro. Shut your mouth! That ain't the problem. The water just got all muddy. Poof, like that. Alright, jokes aside, then. Isn't this swamp water? Ew. Gross. Huh? And why would it be in the bath, genius? I don't know. Maybe the plumbing screwed up. Could have mixed in some swamp water. Gross. Though the shower and toilet look okay. That's weird. Wait, where's the toilet? All I see is a stool for the mirror. Really? Where do you see a toilet, Seitaro? Oh my gosh. Well, no bath for a while, I guess. We'll have to hold out to the old man's back. I'm out. 
Okay. Damn it. What even? Ugh, this pisses me off. <sighs> I'll check on Yuka, then get to bed. Yes, control your anger, Rin. Control your anger. All right, let's check on Yuka. I am also a little worried about her. Aw, she's sleeping. Should I wake her? Yuka's trembling. Looks kind of pained. Is she going to be okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about her, too. She's like my best friend in this game, I guess. Uh, the other two are like little goofballs. What's Yuta doing? Oh, hello! Hey, Rin. Is Yuka okay? She seems really ill. We should go to the hospital, but it's still bad tomorrow. Better ask the old man about it ASAP. <laughs> Ugh. You, you look kind of smell. Like sludge or something. Let's not talk about it. Yeah, let's not. Um, where did Zetaro go? Hey, wait, oh! I didn't mean to go in this room, but hey! Hey, pervert, what you doing? What, are you looking at Monkey Mermaid? You know what this painting is? Not a clue. It's a Japanese mermaid. I think this one's a mummy. A mummy? You're telling me there are mer mummies? Where do you guys come up with this stuff? Yeah, they're pretty famous in some places. Well, actually, I hear it's a sham that uses the top of a monkey and the bottom of a fish. Hmm. Well, I say black, whatever it is. Exactly. And that's what it did look like. It looked like the top of a monkey with the bottom of the fish. Seitaro's obviously not in his room. Uh, can we go upstairs now? I, I feel like we should go upstairs for something. Maybe I shouldn't go to the second floor. How much time do we have left? We have five minutes. I think we can wrap this up. Bedtime! Just remember, my cell's out of battery. Better get it charging. Do I have a cell phone? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, cell phone, Rin cell phone, for charging the phone. Okay. I can't actually use these items, so I guess that's what this outlet is for. Better charge up my phone. Alright, that'll do her. Bedtime. Okay, now can I go to bed? I have absolutely nothing in my inventory. See? Nothing. Okay. Good night. <sighs> okay, that last one was actually me yawning. I hear bubbles. I hear water again. Okay, I hear bubbles. She hears water. Whatever. What? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. It makes me feel like we're in Sonic. Dude, this is awesome. What? <laughs> what in the fresh hell? <laughs> the house is full of water. Right? Just a dream. What a weird one. Can I move? Oh, I can move around. Oh, I'm moving very slowly. Am I going to get electrocuted? Oh, right. The laws of logic don't apply in RPG Maker games. I forgot. <laughs> Just like there would be water in the house. Hey, yeah, what are you? You look like a seal. Are you a seal? Please tell me you're a seal. Hey, hey, come back! C come back! Was there something there? Yeah, there was. It went towards Yuka's room. <gasps> no, 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 no! You, you better not do anything to Yuka! If I wasn't moving this slowly, I would s so catch up to you. Uh. Wh what are you doing? Hey, seal, s step away, please. Mine? Mine? <gasps> uh, no! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, I would not want to have a dream like that. No. Whew. Just a dream. What an awful dream. Oh. I wonder if Yuka's up. I hope she's better. Yeah, I hope nothing happened to her. I, ho I hope nothing happened to her. Uh, please, pl please let Yuka be okay. Hey, Yuka, it's morning. Are you feeling any better? Ooh, you do not look like you're doing better. I hear squishy sounds. What, what is this? We can go to the hospital if it's bad, okay? How about now? Can we go to the hospital now? Yuka? Uh, Yuka? 
Hey, come on. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, is that an that your tongue? It looks like an apple. Ah! Uh, Yuka, what happened to you? You're all swollen. Hey, what the hell? Huh? I do not like this music. Y Yuka, what is this? Rin, call an ambulance. What? Huh? Ambulance? There's a phone in the living room. Hurry. C got it. Oh god, I do not like this music. Let's save here, just in case I did something bad before to make this happen. Uh, there's a phone in here, right? Yes, there's. Uh, get call. Um, what's the number? Right, one one nine. You're an idiot. What? I don't hear a thing. That's because you and. You typed in the wrong number, doofus. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. The wire's connected for sure! Is this thing busted? Piece of... This ain't the time! Oh, oh yeah! My cell's charging! I'll use that. I, I don't like this music. It's got a sense of impending doom. Like, if I don't answer, get to a phone quickly and call an ambulance, she's gonna die. Oh, that's what's going through my mind right now. I really don't want that to happen. Okay, phone. Okay. 119, right? Come on, come on. What? Not a battery! Yep, laws of logic. Strike again. It's charging! What? But it's plugged in! That's what I just said. It's freaking charging, damn it! Again, that's what I said. What the hell's going on? We can't call an ambulance without a goddamn working phone! Yeah, no kidding. Oh my gosh. Just what the hell happened to Yuka? Her body's all swollen. Skin all stiff. M makes her seem almost like a corpse. Shut up. Shut up, timer. I know what time it is. Shut the hell up! Yuka sure as hell not dead! She's still breathing and all that! Sorry. Hey, what about Sitaro? Where'd he go? <sighs> He's off looking for nearby villages or towns. Or anywhere we can call a hospital. Villages? Towns? N no way there's any in walking distance. We didn't see any in the car, right? And there's no way in this fog. Can't see more than a few meters in front. The hell do you propose, then? You want to leave Yuka how she is? You shut the hell up or I'll make you. Ooh, touchy. Well, I wouldn't expect any less, considering her friend is being bloated and stuck in bed. All gross-looking and whatnot. Okay. Sitoro, how'd it go? <sighs> no good. I can't see a thing in the heavy fog. I feel lucky I even made it back. B but you did look, right? Of course I did. But this fog just makes it impossible. I don't dare walk out there without any signs. I mean... The old man was really assisted about us not walking around out there. Yeah, I was kind of suspicious about that. I guess that's what he meant, huh? Well, well then what? Yuka might... What if she dies? I don't want that to happen. N no, Yuka's fine. I don't think she'll die. Huh? That the truth? She's got a pulse. Breathing, no fever. Are you, are you a doctor, Sitaro? Are you? Nothing's wrong on the external stuff, though she keeps mumbling she's cold. Hmm. Not that it's any reason to leave her. We've got to get her to a hospital soon. If we just had a map, we could get around. How about we look for one? Uh, all right. I'm sure we'll find one if we work together. Hey, by the way, Sitaro, about the phone not working and the charger, do you know why that happened? The house's power is out. Huh? Maybe it's an outage, or the guy forgot to pay his bill. Either way, the power's out. You can see how dark it is without the so lights, right? Yeah, it did seem dark. But why? It was working yesterday. How should I know? Still, Yuga takes priority right now. Gotta find that map. Yeah, I got it. Let's search the house together. We... We gotta get Yuka help. Yeah, right. 
Teamwork! Okay, I think I might end it here, because I may have gone over at least 17 or 18 minutes, so we'll save the map searching for another time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and to all my fans, I say, thank you! <laughs> Just thought it'd be silly for a minute there. Um, stay tuned for Mermaid Swamp Part 3. Uh, this is Otaku Skittle signing off. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!